It's barely two months to the end of the term of MPs in the ninth parliament, but the MPs and their newly elected counterparts are engaged in a lot of lobbying for the rest of the speakership. The recently elected woman MP for Kumi District, Monica Mording, is also a contender for the deputy speakership. She has mooted the idea of having three deputy speakers. She wants it introduced as a private member's bill. This proposal has been on the house, on the floor of the house, it has been in the circles of parliament for some time. But I guess we did not have courage to take it on. And I think that uh, maybe this is time for us to try and uh, see how it works out. Given the numbers of parliament, given the space that we have, given the, the responsibility at hand. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Gadaga, recently hinted at supporting the proposal at the retreat held at National Leadership Institute in Changkwanzi. Um, she made mention of the fact that um, uh, we might need to have a panel of speakers. I was happy when she made that uh, contribution because that was the idea we really wanted to champion and put forward and see how the House uh, supports it. Amoding further argues that the proposal would enable the Speaker to concentrate on the legislative rules of Parliament while the deputies carry out other administrative rules. In terms of backlog, we, we can't be able to handle uh, much more if we have these deputies sitting in on what I call less hectic and less demanding uh, business on the floor, which includes motions, which are lighter, reports of uh, committees. Uh, we have uh, laying of papers, we have petitions, which seriously can require a deputy to sit in. She also suggests that the deputy speakers will help the speaker pass bills much faster. And then when we look at the other component, which is more demanding, the legislative drafting and all that, can then be uh, uh, presided over by a more senior uh, speaker of parliament. Professor Jean Barry, a Macquarie University lecturer from the School of Law, argues that the proposal may be well intentioned but doubts whether it will change the quality of debate in Parliament. And if you increase the number of, uh, of speakers, that in and of itself will not necessarily improve the quality of Parliament and what it can deliver for the people of this country. We also talked to a couple of people on the streets of Kampala about their views on the proposal to have two deputy speakers. I don't see whether just wasting money and resources. I think it would have been as it was in the last years. We have only one deputy and that is it. It's a good thing, but it also depends. If the two can really deliver perfectly, you don't need the three. And if one can also do it very well, you don't need two. So it depends on the quality of people they have. So if they have someone who can do it very well, they just have to go with one or two if they can do it. And if they think that we are okay, they should, but that is wastage of money. But if the two deputy speakers can fall on the other side of the, the divide, one from the opposition, one from the ruling. But if there are two deputies and they also come from the ruling party, so it makes no sense. Yeah, so the views of the minority have to be represented. The newly elected woman MP for Kumi bases the proposal applicable on models used in the neighboring countries such as Kenya. Uh, when you look at the future, requiring parliament to have an upper house and a lower house, which might take longer to become a reality, and even given the expansion, increasing numbers of parliament come, members of parliament joining this house. With time, I guess we are going to, to get to 500. There is no way one speaker and a deputy can preside over such a large, large, large house. And so I think we need to be bold about this and we need to take a decision and uh, go that way. Article 78 of the Uganda Constitution provides for only one speaker and deputy. For this proposal to pass, Amodin will have to convince her counterparts to amend the Constitution. More research or NTV Weekend Edition.